Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on um, the Rodan and Fields Unblemish Regimen. First, this video I guess is semi-sponsored, except it's not. Um, Rodan and Fields didn't give me this stuff. My friend gave it to me to try. Um, so I'm gonna go over all the stuff that I do in my skincare um, with this particular brand um, slash regimen that I've been using. So I'm gonna tell you about my skin because not everybody's skin is like mine, so this might not be the correct regimen for you to use. My skin has always been very, very oily. It has never, I mean, there are times when I'm dry, I guess, but for the most part, I'm an, I'm oily. I'm an oily person, which is good and bad. Around middle school time, like adolescence time is when I started to get acne. I didn't have it really too, too bad until like eighth grade and then going into like high school. That's when it started to get pretty bad. My face I was always able to cover. The thing that really started to get me was on my back. I had that like cystic kind of acne that was really painful. That was when I first started going to the dermatologist. At that point in time, they put me on Accutane, which some people hear Accutane and they're like, oh my God, no, it's so bad, uh, whatever. If I had to do it all over again, all the issues I've ever had after, don't compare to how terrible it was to have that type of acne on my back and it did clear up my face. That was probably the only time in my life when I could say, yeah, I had oily skin, or I had dry skin, because it dries you out. That's the point of it. Um, after I was off the Accutane, my skin was really, really great. Accutane doesn't completely get rid of your acne, but it definitely helps it from what it was. So anyway, now as I got older, um, I'm 26 now, I would have different types of issues, um, more like splotchiness on my skin, I very textured, very bumpy. The acne wasn't as um, acne-like, like I wasn't getting like whiteheads, I was getting just like these bumps that I couldn't seem to get rid of. Um, I wasn't sure if it was like reactions to things, but it just seemed to stay there. Very annoying, but still very oily. Um, so I've used Proactive, which is a great product. Um, it works very well. It would work for me for a period of time and then it would stop working. I don't know why. I don't know if like my skin became immune to it. I don't know. Um, I do really like the Body Shop line, um, the Tea Tree line that worked for me to an extent. Again, like didn't take care of everything. So, um, and I've done a number of things. On top of that, always trying to change my diet, but my diet isn't bad. Um, I drink a lot of water, which is really important. Um, lots of green leafy vegetables, really important. A balanced diet, really important. Um, sun protection, obviously, is something that everyone should do regardless of their skin type. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get into the products that I use. I just wanted to be like a general overview of my skincare. So my friend Sarah... Uh, works for Rodan and Fields and um, she was watching a couple of my videos and she noticed that my skin was very textured and that I was still having acne problems like a teenager. <clears throat> really annoying. So she told me she wanted to give this stuff to me to try. I started using it at the beginning of July. It is now the beginning slash middle of September. Um, so this is what came in the kit that she gave me. It was the acne treatment sulfur wash the clarifying toner she gave me gauze to use with that there's a huge moth in here um she gave me gauze to use with that not cotton pads cotton pads i guess are bad for your skin so rodan and fields uh sells the gauze pads but you can get them in like the first aid aisle um then there's this dual intensive acne treatment and then she gave me the oil control lotion, which has an SPF of 20 in it. In giving this to me, she said that it could dry me out. 
So she also gave me from the Soothe line the Sensitive Skin Treatment and the Moisturizing Replenishing Cream. Um, she did have me take this online quiz um, to go over like my skin issues. And then that's that's how she came to getting like those products for me. A couple weeks ago, she then sent me this microdermabrasion paste. And um, I've used that for the last couple of weeks. And I do like it. You're only supposed to use it like two, one to three times a week. Um, so I do use um, just like a drugstore or whatever's on sale kind of face scrub um, every day just to get any dead skin cells that are on my face off my face. And then I also use a Clarisonic with the face wash. In the morning, I wash my face with a drugstore, like I said, whatever is on sale that has salicylic acid in it, a drugstore face wash. And then um, I use, again, a drugstore toner. And then I use the, I think it's like Olay, um, like their plain lotion, and that has SPF in it. And I use that um, in the morning. I was finding that when I was using this twice a day, I was drying out and um, my makeup was going on patchy and he didn't like that. So um, I did that at night. Then I do this whole regimen. I was doing it in the morning and then I was doing the other stuff at night and then somehow I switched it around. I don't think it really matters for me. Um, what I do really like about this is that after a few weeks of using it, I really did notice a change in my skin. Um, I still get acne. I still have some pimples. That's just going to happen. Like I have to just learn to accept. I'm always going to have teenage acne, which apparently now it's hormones, but who knows. So anyway, um, so I use this. It really does help if I do have any pimples because the when I wake up in the morning, the pimples that I had are now gone. So that's really great. Um, but it totally changed the texture of my skin. All the little red bumps that I had are gone. All, I mean, I guess I'm red sometimes, but like the redness that I had that was like that irritated look is gone. Um, I don't want to say it's harsh on the skin because it's really not, I never feel like my skin is like dry. I will get like a couple of dry spots around my mouth. Um, but then I just use like the Soothe stuff and it tends to make it go away. It does last a long time. Usually when the quality of the products are better, you don't have to spend as much money on it. Um, I don't know the exact price point of this stuff. I will link it in the bar below when I figure it out. Um, I know that when you buy it all together, it's cheaper than if you were to buy everything separately. Um, I do think it's worth it. You have to use a teeny tiny amount of product when you use this stuff. Um, the dual intensive acne treatment, um, I it's like a double pump thing. I use one full pump of each and put that on my face. So that would pro is probably going to be the first thing that I need refilled. Um, but like the acne sulfur treatment I've had for July, August, September. So I've had it for like a month and a half and it's not even halfway gone. Granted, I am only using it once a day, but if you do struggle with acne and you can afford this, I do suggest trying it. I will continue to use this. I will buy this stuff because it works for me and it's been a really hard time trying to find things that truly, truly work for my skin personally. If you're like me and you have issues with your skin, it, to me it's like if, if it's gonna work, I'd rather it work and have to pay for it than be frustrated with my skin constantly trying to find products that are cheap to work, you know? I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, great. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video, if this video was helpful for you. Um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I do review other products, usually makeup products. Um, I have been MIA for a while. It's been like crazy summer, uh, rough last couple of weeks, but um, I'm looking forward to doing some more videos. Um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed this, subscribe, like it. And I will see you next time, hopefully. Have a great day, night, 
whatever, wherever you are. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to show you. This is my new cat in. He's so cute. His name is Bear. And uh, he's a little rascal. And he's really cute. So yeah, this is my new kitty. New little kitty. If anybody cares, probably not. But he's so cute. So if you think he's cute, like it too. Oh, and look, there's another cat just came to join us. This is Serafina. We'll see you next time. Bye.